What's around everyone? How are y'all doing during this airy season? Right? I'm coming to you now to give you your Aries reading. Right? And now we're fully into Aries. We're nine degrees in to Aries. What's around all you Aries people? Happy solar return. Happy flight day to you. Right? This is a wonderful time for you to start creating new things, right? Initiating new things, starting new stuff, doing new stuff, right? No matter what, Aries could account about that, no matter what, no matter who's there, who's watching, where you at, what time of day it is, Aries be Aries. <laughs> so, Aries, Sun, Moon, Descendants, how y'all doing out there? Oh, wow. So this is the energy for you. You know, I have to come to you today, today, today. Today is my day to speak to you, right? To tell you what energies are you manifesting in, okay? What energies are you creating in? What energies are you planting your seeds in? What kind of seeds you're creating over there, huh? I wanna know. All right, comment below what you're creating over there. What's new? What's popping? <laughs> All right. All right, so this is going to be your Aries reading. So whatever zodiac sign I talk about, that's for Aries sun. Um, wherever your sun is at, wherever your moon is at, and whatever your um, ascendant is when it comes to the Aries placements, right? I'm also going to be talking about each zodiac sign. So your zodiac sign, Gemini, you know, zodiac sign, Cancer, zodiac sign, Pisces. But it goes for the sun, moon, and ascendant of that sign. So if you're Gemini sun, moon, and ascendant, that would apply for that Gemini reading. If you're Aries sun, moon, and ascendant, either one of those, that would apply for the Aries reading. All right, so let's get into it. Does these cards really want to talk all right what energies are you manifesting in Ooh. what's around cancer sun moon ascendant this reading is for you for the aries season okay so this is basically about what energies are you manifesting in even if you don't know it you're manifesting every day all right so this is just to make you aware what energies that you are in okay and cancers y'all didn't want to talk some of y'all didn't want to talk y'all didn't want to express yourself and, and that could be for a very good reason because it took a while for this card to come out um i mean the cards used to be talking you know i'm a gemini i got a lot of gemini a lot of air so we be hollering at each other right the cards and they didn't want to say nothing really and some of y'all are on a spiritual path and that's why like you don't want to tell nobody. It might be new. It might be fresh. You don't know nobody in your area, community, Facebook, Twitter, nothing, nowhere. That's thinking the same things you're thinking, feeling the same way you feel it. And you feel like this is all a spiritual beginning or you about the start of something new, right? Um, but come to tell you, you ain't alone, right? People are out there who are going through the exact same thing and... Uh, same zodiac sign because it's not just one cancer watching i mean hey even if i get like one view or one like still and yet there are more cancers out there and people and period that are going through these spiritual journeys and you are cancer so you're ruled by the moon right and that's all emotions <laughs> that's just all moods okay it is a whole mood that's cancer okay so, um, just make sure, you know, when you're going on this path that you don't feel alone because you aren't alone. And if you're starting this journey now, it's 2022. So, and even if it's not 2022 and you're seeing this video in 3033, that's fine. Okay. Everybody goes on their path on a different time, different levels, different spaces, different everything, right? It's all unique within that person. So just know that you're not alone. Know that 
you, it, as long as you keep going on your journey, you will start connecting with others, okay? That is, is that can resonate just with you. No explanation needed, okay? Because um, it might be hard for you to be explaining things right now. It might be hard for you to communicate what's going on with you right now, you know? Um, therefore, it might make you feel a little, like, you know, out of it. Like, you're not with it. You know, and that's causing like self doubt. You know, you're putting yourself on limits that you can't do this, that you can't do that, you can't, can't, all these can'ts, you know, all that. And that's just messing with the whole thing. And, and, and it's drying you up. It, it is drying you up. And that's not good because, you know, you need that flow because right now it's a flowing period. You know, um, you know, everything is gone out, you know, stuff is melting. You know, things are starting to push through and wiggle through things to loosen things up, aka worms. You know, so for you to be a cancer and feel dry, <laughs> feel out of it, that's not that's not really cool. And it's a Pisces moon, so you know, definitely tap in the moon. For those of you cancers, um, are on your path, you know, you you're feeling it, you know, you're feeling real free, you know. I'm, AKA free to be, that's me. <laughs> so you on you on your way. <laughs> you know what I mean? You on your way for the other cancers, okay? You know you got limited potential. You know there's growth there. You know what you're doing. It, 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 you already see the growth and you know it's just gonna get bigger. For those of you starting, you already know. Nobody can tell you these seeds ain't gonna be the bomb. Whatever comes out of this, what I'm putting my energy to, it's gonna go. Man, you don't even know. Girl, you don't even know. And the discovery, the process of discovery, enjoy that. Enjoy that because, especially during Aries season, I mean, yeah, go for it, <laughs> you know? You may not know all the answers, but in Aries season, who cares? Just do it. <laughs> You'll figure it out after it's done. All right. And that will help you. That will give you more inspiration. If you ain't um, traveled in a while or you know you need to be certain places, but you be doubting, this is airy season. Uh, do it. Just do it because that's going to help whatever you're trying to manifest grow even more, you know, and be in your favor because you can manifest things that don't go in your favor too let's get that right all right but you want things to go in your favor you want to feel free you know you want to you got that fire look at you didn't wear them tights for nothing she ain't wearing them tights for nothing look and decorate the hat that that look like fire go ahead okay cancer use the fire okay if you don't know how to use the fire look up fire signs look up aries watch an aries listen to aries music you know, something with an Aries. Tap it. If you don't know, set, you can use a Sagittarius, Leo, either, whatever. All fire. But this is Aries season, so stick more towards the Aries, you know, and not the Aries that's just, you know, oh my gosh. No, some inspirational Aries, okay? <laughs> You know, because I'm not trying to get you all dried up even more. I'm not cancer. So go ahead, tap into some Aries energy. You know, dry up some of those woe is me emotions. You know what I mean? But have a, just enough wetness where your, your seeds can grow, where they can they can grow and be nurtured in the right space, in the right home, um, have the right warmth, have the right temperature. You know what it takes to grow things, right? Just look at pregnancy. Perfect all day. All right. Have a good day and night. Cancer, sun, moon, ascendance during this Aries season. Enjoy.